Boys, he's on a mission. Boys, he's on a mission. Boys, he's going on a mission tonight. Jordan is here from Jordan. Out here at Gannett Rock. We just figured out how what an ND filter is good for. It's basically sunglasses for your camera. It smells like um, fish, real fresh fish. Jordan's just getting his first taste of. Can you show the lens? Oh yeah, so I got this little thing. I don't know if you can see that, but if you twist this little dial. It's like, changes how dark the lens is. Yeah, it's me. So this is the first time taking this bad boy out and... Yeah, back to the birds. That concludes the epicest bird photographing shoot that I've ever done. Holy moly, that was awesome. Yeah. Just really glad that we got this lens. Quite interested to see how they come up. Yeah. Boise's out. The Boise's. Boise's uh, reunited. Yeah, so the off the bat depth of field up us. Still stalking around for some animals at the moment, but you can't beat the compression of this. I, I seem to be the only one rocking one of these, so I felt a little bit happy getting different shots to the other jokers their little lenses yeah like I'm just here with my little toy with their little toys old, you know the big mate over here the big dogs come through and you're like weapon. excuse me just, can you move over there I just need to be a professional right now he um he tried it he was swinging it around trying to capture a bird and just about clocked me in the face with <laughs> that's a weapon eh big um Thor hammer lens <laughs> Yep, so it took about 300 photos, so getting into this bird stuff more and more started out as a joke, but I'm, <laughs> I'm really into it, eh? so good to have an office to film, have home base, but anyway, where are we? This boy, the photos, they're epic. I haven't taken it out of the house yet, I've just been sitting at home shooting out the, um, shooting out the window and boy, I want to go take this everywhere. I was actually stunned at how good those photos came out. Given that we were we were just there for probably half an hour with quite low light and the compression on those bird shots. Can we get those ones with the black backgrounds up again please? Man, are those cool? They're, they're awesome, it's just like those photos I was talking about with Tim Flock in an episode a few videos ago. A couple of people have asked me on Instagram how did I get the black background? Well, I was actually down on the ground, the bird was in the foreground, and behind it was just the cliffs, so it was just really dark and they were all in shadow, so that's what, and the light was sort of coming sideways on the bird, so that's what created that really eerie effect on those birds. Man, that was 
that this feels like one of the highlights I've actually had of photography that Gannett Rock Trip. Just the variety of photos and, and also just appreciating how epic having a good lens is. Especially for this lens, it's so long you can get really close up but that compression, for example when the birds are on the rock and the water looks really close, those effects I, I really like that. And for those of you, if you're watching this video by any chance and like I was and wondering does this lens work or how would it operate on a ADD, on a crop sensor? Well, just from initial impressions, it's awesome. Like if you're on the fence about it because you don't have a full frame camera, I highly recommend it anyway. I, I didn't even notice. So uh, it, the photos still come out awesome and you just get that little bit of extra zoom. Yeah, I think we gotta, we gotta get more photos of this thing, hey? I think I want to go to the zoo or something. Just, I love animals. So, yeah, there's an update on those photos. And let me know in the comments what ones you liked and yeah, what you thought of that. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Oh yeah, my, my left arm was no joke after that, after carrying that around for that whole time. I'm not joking, on the steering wheel on the way home. It was, it was actually sore. So you do have to hit the weights. All right, off to hit the weights, and then take more photos.